absolute favorite memory of Halloween was the actual last time that Gordy and I went trick-or-treating. So we were probably a bit too old to actually go trick-or-treating. I would say we were maybe venturing into 12, maybe 13 years old. And I remember this was like the first year we wanted to be like part of the big kids. So instead of like little garbage pail kids or little McDonald's pails, we took pillow sacks around the neighborhood and we're just filling them up with candy. We were just getting tons of candy, blah, blah, blah. And I remember there was this girl down the street named, I think her name was Angela. Angela, such a lovely name. Why, I believe it means angel. And I had like a little bit of a crush on her and I remember forgetting that she lived down the street and we, we were all decked out on our Halloween costumes or whatever. Very minimal, I think. We were in it for the candy that night. And we got to her house, rang the doorbell, and Angela opens the door, looking as fine as her 12-year-old self could be to our 12-year-old selves, mind you. Uh, and I remember just being like, oh my God, the girl I like. Hi, <laughs> do you want some candy? And here we are, way too old to be trick-or-treating, and we've gone to her house, and I was mortified, but she gave us candy, and it was dope. And I remember the next night I went out with this kid and he lit a bunch of pipe bombs in this playground, which is really actually crazy to think about now. Nobody died, he was crazy. He's probably in a jail cell now somewhere. But I, I remember we ended the night watching just horror movies and just binging on all this candy. And it was the last time we ever went trick or treating. I'll never forget it because it was the biggest haul we ever had of candy. <laughs> So my story is the first year I didn't go trick-or-treating. Um, I remember sitting downstairs watching horror movie after horror movie and uh, Turner Classic Movies had a classic horror uh, lineup with like um, the creature from the Black Lagoon, um, Frankenstein, the original Dracula. Um, and I sat down there my mom made pudding and all kinds of desserts. And uh, I remember she came down with hot baked pumpkin seeds and I was just chowing on the candy and my friends would come. People from the neighborhood would come, I'd run up, I'd get the door, I'd hand out candy to the kids, like my friends uh, from local schools and from the local neighborhood would uh, pop over and I'd give them extra candy and other crap and we'd shoot the shit for a little bit and then they went their way and I, it was, it was a, a really fun year. It was definitely different. I had kind of wanted to go trick-or-treating, but it was at that point where, you know, we're done with it. And uh, it was a really fun year. How we doing out there, little Ronies? You might remember your boy. Boss Battle Tim. And I'm coming to you from the old Creed place. That's right, just finished burying my cat. And you know what? Adam Ronan asked me to give you a little special message all the way from here in the Pet Cemetery. And he said, he said, you know, Timmy, he's like, what's your uh, what's your favorite Halloween tradition? And I was like, you know what? I got two of them. I'm gonna share both of them with you. Number one, my number one tradition, I watch one horror movie a day throughout the entire month of October. That's right. 31 horror movies, a mixed bag, and that mixed bag is always going to include a little bit of that classic horror that you have to have, I'm talking Nightmare on Elm Streets, of course, you know, and like the, going back to like 74 Leatherface, and then we're gonna go with like new things that have popped up throughout the course of the year that I've just kind of missed, so I always want to try and catch those as well. Um, but my, my all time favorite memory that has to be like something that I'll share for the rest of my life is definitely an evening of terror. Um, throughout the entire month of October, um, the entire gang plus a bunch of our other friends and cast and um, just different players were able to get together and we had such a great time um, literally every weekend staying up to like 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning shooting and then just editing all week long to bring to you guys evening of terror. And it was one of the best experiences of my life, and I cherish it forever, and I send it back to you from beyond the grave. Penis, 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 pen